Hey Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem Achachudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well in Shalom. To your argument, we're pushing this word around the globe in faith and with truth. As always, I'd like to start by saying that we are the real Hebrew Israelites. The real Israelites, these so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, West Indians, and West Africans. Predominantly, however, you are going to get Israelites that do look like the other nations because Israel has been scattered amongst all people throughout our various captivities. So if your seed line by your forefathers goes back to the man in the Bible named Israel, then you too are an Israelite, no matter what you may look like, because the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18, states that your nationality nationality <clears throat> is determined by the lineage of your forefathers. So I've got an article here from the Sun newspaper in the, here in the UK, and it says, not alone. Coronavirus pandemic has led to rocketing numbers of UFO sightings, investigator claims. Now, for those of you who don't know, UFOs are mentioned all throughout the Bible, and they're known as the chariots of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, those are the vehicles which the angels travel in. So I'm going to read this article because it says that um, since the coronavirus pandemic, sightings of chariots have gone up. And I can personally attest to that. Because um, in this past year, I've probably seen more chariots than I have um, in any other year. I mean, I'd always see them every now and again. But I've, I I saw more chariots in 2020 than ever before. That's just me personally speaking. So let's read this article. It says, uh, not alone. The coronavirus pandemic has led to rocketing numbers of UFO sightings. Investigator claims. The global pandemic has led to a rise in UFO sightings and investigator says. Gary Hesseltine, 60, reckons it will help to convince people that we are not alone. Retired cop Gary Hesseltine says the global pandemic has led, has it had a mysterious side effect as the number of UFO sightings has increased during lockdown. Reports of alien crafts have rocketed as more people spend time outdoors. The retired cop said that with more people having spent time in gardens, parks and the countryside, reports of alien craft are up. Dad of two, Gary said, this could be a hugely significant moment in the history of UFOs. He has kept a database of 550 UK sightings involving 1,100 cops dating back to 1901. <clears throat> Some cases are supported by video footage. No official record is kept since the MOD's UFO desk shut after 50 years in 2009. But Gary from Skulls, West York, said sightings have gone up during lockdown. With less air traffic, the likelihood of seeing UFOs has increased. He is convinced that the government has hidden the truth about UFOs, adding it is time they changed and we had an open attitude to the... <coughs> To explore the best evidence in the public. <clears throat> Slack, yeah. The MOD, which I believe is the Ministry of Defence, said in over 50 years, no UFO report has revealed anything to suggest that to suggest a military threat to the UK. Well, the Bible reveals that it's a, it's a threat. <laughs> but we'll get to that. I guess we'll get to it sooner than I thought, because that's the end of the article. Short, but sweet. Well... What did the scripture say? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to jump to Revelation. No, let me jump to Acts then, Revelation. It's book of Acts chapter 1, starting from verse 7, I believe. Yeah, we'll start from verse Acts 1 and 6. It says, when they were therefore come together, they asked of him, meaning they asked of Yahawashai. Yahawashai is the true name of the Lord. The one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his true name in the Hebrew is Yahawashai. And he is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. Because they're dark-skinned people. So Acts 1 and 6 says, And when they were therefore come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father have put in his own power. 
but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Now, sometimes the chariots, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, are referred to as clouds in the scriptures because they can disguise themselves as clouds. So it says, Acts 1 and 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahawashiah which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Jumping on to Revelation 1. This is Revelation 1. I'm going to start from verse 4. Revelation 1 and 4 it says, John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come from the seven spirits which are before his throne and from Yahweh Shai HaMashiach who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, hath made us kings and priests unto the Most High his Father, and to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, meaning his coming with chariots, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so are man. This is, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. So that's Yahweh Shine, he's coming back with clouds. Um, 66.15, Isaiah. This is, for behold, Yahweh will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. So the Lord's coming back, Yahweh Shai is coming back with an innumerable multitude of chariots. And the fact that the news is reporting that, um, where are we here? News is reporting that chariot sightings have gone up in uh, 2020 since lockdown. Well, that only means that we're drawing ever closer to the end. Of Esau's society and the beginning of our society, which will be the kingdom of heaven, which will be ruled by the Israelites. And all you other 17 nations are going into hardcore bondage and slavery for a thousand years. And then after a thousand years, you Edomites are going to be burnt up and done away with. Pertaining to Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 18, I believe. But yeah, this is just a quick lesson on the um, article I read. Lord willing, it's been edifying, and I'll be back soon to do. More lessons on other topics uh, as the spirit rules it, Lord willing. So for now, I say Shalom, Wa Ababa, Kwame Shalom, Shalom.